guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a look that i have been wearing quite often and i wore this look in my previous videos it's kind of inspired by lily brown um because of the sparkles in the inner of the eyes and the orangey colors on the eyelid and all that so if you want to see how the end result looks please keep watching so i've already done my foundation and concealer i use the jane iridale full coverage bb cream it looks like this and i use my mac pro conceal and correct palette if you want to see how i do my skin normally just watch one of my previous videos so now i'm just going to take my pressed mac powder in the shade medium and then just taking a smaller brush and getting that powder and getting all my lids and under my eyes i'm just gonna give my brows a bit of a brush i really want to get microblading done because if you haven't noticed in my videos i have a scar right in my brow and it is so annoying so love to get rid of that. Now to do my brows I'm just going to take this little angled brush and my Morphe brushes palette. It's got heaps of different shades and I'm going to be taking second to darkest shade. That is an actual mess. Okay I'm just going to leave it. They look really bad but I'm not over it. Now I'm just going to take my um, contours from the body shop it's in the golden bronze shade I'm just going to contour my cheekbones forehead my nose now using the Chi Chi professional face palette. I'm going to take this banana shade here and just highlight under my eyes and my nose. Now I'm going to take the Man Eyes Sisters palette and I'm going to use the blush. I'm running out of it so. It's such a nice blush. And now I'm just going to take my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. Mm, yeah, I can't stop. Now I'm taking my Holy Grail Eyeshadow Palette. It's the Modern Renaissance Palette. I only use three eyeshadows for this look, so it's a nice and simple look that I always do because it's just so fast and but so effective. The first eyeshadow I'm going to be taking is the Burnt Orange shade. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. And then getting a blending brush, just blend out those edges. Doing the same thing with the other eye. And then with a clean, fluffy brush, just blend out those edges again. <coughs> oh, I bit my lip when I sneezed. And my tongue. Then the next shade I'm going to be taking is Real Gut. And then I'm just going to be applying this outer part of my lid and just packing that on and kind of blending it out. See the difference that it makes? Just gives that pop. And then with that clean brush, just, just blend out the edges, but not too much. And then just take the burnt orange again and just apply this under the eye of the lash line. And then take the real gar color and just put that in the outer. Not all the way across, just about midway. Just like that. And then get that clean fluffy brush and just blend it out a little bit. And then taking Cypress Umber at the end there, that dark brown colour. I'm just going to apply this really tightly in the outer V of my eye. Creating like a V shape. Like that. 
So taking it across the lash line and bringing it up into the crease like that. And then take that brush that you used for the orange and blend out the edge of the brown. Same thing on the other eye. And then on an angle brush you're going to take that cypress umber, not too much, and just like dab it off a little bit and just take that in the, water, the lash line. Now using the Kat Von D ink liner I'm going to do a wing. So what I first do when I do my wing liner is I use the side and like just kind of run it across the lid. So what I do is I follow my um, bottom water line and just bring it out towards the, my outer part of my brow. So I like bring it up like that. I just create that line. Just like that, just, just to go by something. And then I close one eye. Let me follow it through. Just like that. And when I make a mistake or stuff up the shape, all I do is get a little brush like this. It's just a straight brush and then take it under the wing and just straighten it out just like that and follow it through. And it really makes a difference. I just cleaned it up so much. So I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. I am pretty happy with that for my first time doing it on camera. <laughs> then my favourite part of this whole look is the Astralis Metallics eyeshadow. It's in like a um, little thing like that. Look at that. Oh my god. It's in the Guns N' Roses shade, and I just take a little brush like this. Okay, so I'm just going to take this Benefit um, Roller Lash, it's such a good mascara. And now I'm going to apply my favourite lip, it's the Black Cosmetics Lip Liqueur in the shade Seduce. And then I'm going to take this Darling Nude lipstick um, from Maybelline and I just put this on top and it just kind of makes it more pinky. Thanks so much for watching guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. But yeah, um, I really like this look. I've been wearing it quite often. I really want to try put white liner in. Um, I'm gonna eventually buy one. But yeah, I hope you like the end result. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. I'll either do a makeup tutorial or another story time. So. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe and like this video. Also, I'm doing this thing where if you comment a suggestion video, makeup related or not, I will be giving you a shout out in my videos, which I did in my last video. I really appreciate it when people like give ideas and ask what they want to see and stuff. So if you'd like to have a shout out, please comment an idea that you would like me to do and, and ooh, please comment a video idea you would like me to do yeah thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time bye